All right, welcome back to Living Our American Dream. This is gonna be part two or video number two of our camper build. Today's video is going to be making the first few cuts and kind of figuring out the size of this box and possibly getting it attached to these skids. Uh, these four by sixes are gonna be our skids, like I said before, and we're gonna get started right now. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. So you're going to get on there, get in the trailer. to just hold it without it falling, I hope. That's kind of bad. Okay, we'll take a quick update here, show you guys where we're at. So I went around all the bottoms down here and you can see I put pocket hole screws every six inches and I did the same for the top. So our bottom, our, our walls sit right on the, the bottom piece of plywood there, you can see that joint. And then our top is gonna sit right on top of this one and they'll get pocket holed in. I ran a, a bead of glue along this seam and then we just sat it there and lined it up as we went and uh, drop the screws in. And then we're actually using the side of the trailer right now, shimmed out with some boards. And I used a, a square to make sure that it was in place correctly. We're about to do the same thing on this side. We got the wall stepped back. Marcus is just kind of balancing it there for us. I'm gonna run my bead of glue up this side. Mike and I will set it in place and then we'll go through and put the pocket holes in and get that one basically clamped up to this rail of the trailer at 90 degrees and we'll be in good shape. Mark's wiping some glue off here on the corners. She's starting to look like a camper a little bit though. More like a teardrop. Well, this would be called a square drop. Mm -hmm. Now just for everybody's reminder, on the bottom, we're actually gonna have a couple of skids on here because the whole purpose of this is to come off of my trailer. When I'm not using the camper, I wanna be able to pull it off of here. Let's walk to the other side of the shop. I'll show you guys what it's starting to look like. I apologize, I got stuff laying all over my shop right now. But the next thing we need to do to get, so it's pretty wobbly side to side right now. As soon as I get this front piece on, it should fix that. But the problem that I have right now is I can't put the front piece on because of these clamps. So we're gonna wait, um, we're gonna wait until probably tomorrow. Thank 
this corner. Can you see this corner? All right, let me grab it. Just drop this corner in quick. All right guys, so today, this is the, the end of the first day of actually building. So let me show you where we ended up. So as you can see, it looks, the shape is appropriate now. If I come in here, you'll notice that I've pocket hole attached all of the joints inside here. They're all glued and screwed. And in the bottoms, I've added a couple of one bys that are pocket joined and glued. And I kind of made a, I guess a, a wooden piece of angle, if you will. And uh, th just to help the rigidity of this wall and, and just to help it stay attached to the rest of the structure. There's tons of screws in here. I put the divider wall in and it was initially gonna be part of the divider wall Let's walk to the front. Let me show you what I got in mind for this. From the front, I don't quite have the front panel on or the top, but I do have one more sheet of plywood over there to deal with, and there's a little piece over in the corner here. But anyway, this is gonna be our cabin area. And right now this is just a little bit less than eight feet. It's probably seven and seven foot 10, seven foot nine, something like that, from that wall to where this front wall is gonna be. I'll have some cubbies in here in the front. So when you come in the door, you'll be able to crawl in the door and there'll be some cubbies directly there for clothes and shoes, hats, phones, whatever you can reach from the door. And the center part, I haven't decided exactly how this is gonna lay out yet, but it's gonna be slick. So here's what I wanted to show you. So. What's unique about this camper is that it is five feet tall. Most of these are only four, you know, four feet tall, which that piece of plywood right there is four feet tall right there. So that leaves me a foot in the top. And what I've decided to do, and you'll see this in an upcoming video, is I'm gonna put a, a shelf up there. And uh, that's gonna be a, a cubby storage that you can access from the cabin. So, couple reasons for this number one the wood worked out right at, at, at four feet and it leaves me that one foot opening there it's gonna be very simple it's gonna be a, a open area that I can shove stuff in there second reason and if I walk to the back I can show what this is gonna be the back end of this trailer is also five feet tall five feet wide but I'm getting a pre-manufactured rear door. I was gonna build my hatch door and have it you know, come up on gash struts like this. But when I started pricing out the cost of buying the, the gasket material and you know, cut, my, my cutout piece would have been the hatch, which would be fine. But of course you gotta trim that in something, which I was looking at, you know, aluminum channel for the door and for the opening and then some aluminum bars and gasketing and you want a nice hurricane hinge for the top those things are a four foot hurricane hinge was going to cost me 75 bucks or more and then of course all the attachment hardware etc etc so for a little over 400 bucks i'm going to be getting a door it's still 48 inches wide but it's only 40 inches tall so by going, step to the back here, by going with the four foot plywood there, this top foot is basically gonna be the cubby access from inside. So my door will sit a little bit off center, down, and this this back area will be my, my, my cubby storage area. So this is gonna be 
or I'm sorry, not my cubby storage area, my, my rear storage area. And there's gonna be one big swinging door that comes open to the left. And uh, picking all this stuff up this week. So we're gonna be moving right along on this. Again, the intention is to have this done for our first camping trip here in another month. So lots of work to do. And I'm having a blast doing this. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you stay tuned for the rest of this series and appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.